So it's finally here, the Starship Torch. Let's take a look at it. So first, take a look at the box. How nicely it is all packed in there. So you have this cushion in the box that's very protective. So the box was specifically designed for this. And then here is the actual rocket inside the box. The actual box. But if you wonder about the shipping box, take a look. See, everywhere here you have these phones and that makes it secure to ship it. But take a look at this. This is the actual diagram of your Starship torch. So that is really awesome. The box is solid and then when you open it, see it's magnetic. So it has a magnetic opening, which is really cool. And as soon as you open it, you get these instructions in here. So let me take them out of here. And in here, it just shows you how to use this rocket and how to refuel the rocket. So it says to use a butane and not propane because propane has a different burning uh, properties so if it's meant for butane it was designed for that specific gas you don't want to use propane for for safety reasons and simply because it wasn't designed for it but now take a look at that do you see that there it is it's beautiful so it's it's heavy it's metal it has a weight to it it's a solid object super solid but one thing it's not you read it yourself i don't know if you can read it but it says 100 percent not a toy it's not something you want to buy for your kid and be like hey go play with it because if they manage to fill it up with this butane canister that i can get at walmart for less than three dollars then they could set something on fire so that's not a toy it's a torch now it's heavy and look this measures 10 inches. Right at 10 inches. Right at it. And then, let's see what the weight of that thing is. Because it's pretty heavy. The weight reads at 525 grams. And I'm not kidding. So you can see it for yourself. So it has a good weight to it. Now, before we even play with it, it's not just any rocket, it is Starship that exists and is currently undergoing a heavy development in Starbase, Texas, right east of Brownsville. The actual size of the real Starship is 50 meters. So if you saw the real one in Starbase, Texas, it will be 50 meters high. Now, the Starship spacecraft comes with the super heavy booster, which is what fuels it. And the height of that goes to 71 meters, which means the combined height of the Starship spacecraft, which is what this is, and the Starship super heavy booster is 121 meters. That is equivalent to a 37 story building. That is massive, incomprehensibly massive. But what is it exactly? Well, it's meant to be an interplanetary rocket that takes us humans and our cargo to different planets, to the moon, to our Earth's orbit, and to Mars and beyond. Now, it can take up to 150 metric tons of, of cargo in one going, expandable to 250 tons. And most of all, it is fully reusable. So in other words, it comes to space and it comes back. Why is it important? Because going to space is super expensive. And now we have rockets that fly back from the outer vacuum of space 
and leaned back on the launch pods, ready to be used again, as if in a sci-fi movie. Never ever humanity had such thing. Now, the Saturn V rocket that took people to the moon in 1969, it was not fully reusable, so that project was super costly. It made almost no sense to do this because of the intense amount of cost. Now, this reduces the cost to access the space by a factor of more than 100. And don't take my word for it. This is what Elon Musk himself said. So it is pretty, pretty amazing. Now, this model here is in a scale of 1 to 200. So 200 times smaller than the original one, which if you saw, you'd be more than amazed. I'm sure I would love to see one. So how big Starship really is? We can put it into perspective. So this model here is in the scale of 1 to 200. Now, if you wanted to compare it to a regular Toyota Camry, you can simply draw it on the paper and you can do it by taking its length, which is 4,877 millimeters, and divide it by 200 to get a scale of 1 to 200. And that equals to 24.3 millimeters. So here's your Toyota Camry. Now, the same calculation can be applied to a regular standard size school bus that is of 45 feet long. When you perform the same calculation, you end up with the 68 millimeters here. And so here they are, and here is our starship. That's our starship here. So let's lay it down. So if you park your camera next to it, this is what you will be parking next to, okay? I mean, you gotta, you got to admit that is, that is absolutely insane, okay? And then this is your school bus parked next to it. This is what it will look like, a full-size 45 feet long school bus, okay? And if you thought that wasn't enough, then here I have made out of the paper the super heavy booster. So look, here is your super heavy booster. So this is how tall Starship would actually really be compared to your Toyota Camry. So here's your Toyota Camry and here's your Starship. I mean, look at the size. I mean, aren't you getting goosebumps yet? That is absolutely out of this world, impressively intense. I don't have the words. Now, even get that big school bus. Oh, big heavy school bus. Yes, school bus of 45 feet long weighs anywhere from 13 to 14 tons empty look how tiny it is compared to that massive starship rocket with the super heavy booster if you wonder how did i came out with this it's actually pretty simple see the length of the super heavy booster is 71 meters if you divide it by 200 pieces you'll end up with a piece of 35.5 centimeters and that makes the length of the super heavy booster so this torch is available on SpaceX's website for um, $175. However, I bought it on February the 20th and I just received it on December the 17th. So it took almost eight months for me to receive it. That's because the demand on this torch is huge and they couldn't keep up with the orders, but I don't care. I have it. I love it. It's great. Now, along with it, I also got this cup in here. Although it is not dishwasher or microwave safe due to its unique design. So drink your hot tea or hot coffee in it and then wash it by hand. On the other side, you have the SpaceX logo. See, and uh, what's cool about this cup is that when you add warm water to it, then it will terraform Mars into another Earth-like planet. That mug is available on SpaceX website for 20 bucks. And the shipping for these two items was $19 and some change. All right, so now let's talk about refueling it. Or maybe before that, let's talk about those buttons here. So you have, first, the security button. See how it shows you the uh, red spot in here, right? Yeah, the fingerprints show pretty good, but that's because it's a nice chrome finish here. Now, because the safety is on, see, I cannot do anything. If I remove the safety by shifting this here, then you can move this. And did you hear that click? 
that click is ignition. If you click it, it will it will turn the torch on. All right. And then here you can adjust how much of that torch you want to have. Go one way, it's going to be small. Go the other way, it's going to be tall. So when you're ready to refuel your Starship torch, all you have to do is to twist the stop open as such. All right. And note that it's pretty solid here. You have those balls here that actually latch with those grooves in here. And now in the manual there, right on this one here that came with the box, it shows you right in here that you should purge the tank before refueling it to make sure that it's completely empty. And so the way they want you to do it is to pick up something uh, pointy like this pen, for example. And if you were to touch to that tip in here, see if I do that and I push down, it takes some pressure. But you know what I'm doing here. So if you were to press on it, it will hiss at you if it had gas in it. But once you used out all your gas, you wouldn't have any, except maybe just if something was to be there, you touch to this and and it's all gone. Completely empty, safe to refuel. That's the idea. So I went to Walmart and I got this for like $2.93, $2.93. And we're going to use this to refuel this torch. All you have to do is to remove this red cob. And then once you did, this is your insert for your butane, right? You will put the can, as you see it, in there. And so I'm putting it in there. And then I'm going to press on the can. So, by the way, before you do it, it says not to do it for more than 10 seconds. Oh, failure. So as you saw, we were unable to refuel this torch with this can. And that is because the tip on that can doesn't match what's in here. Now, I had to make another trip to Home Depot this time and buy another can. So note that this one here differs from that one because they have different tips. This one has this red little tip on it and then the one from Walmart does it. Now the difference, however, is that the one from Home Depot is double the price, but half the size. Well, almost 160 gram versus 220 grams. The one from Home Depot also comes with additional tips that you have in here inside. Now let's take a look. So, so this red tip that I have in here, it fits in there just fine. Let's press it. But remember that we only do it for up to 10 seconds and no more than that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I took seven seconds. Okay, I think it's heavier actually now. Okay, put that tip on. I washed my hands thoroughly. Remember that I spilled some butane, <laughs> butane on my hands. This game could end up pretty bad for me. I washed my hands with soap thoroughly. Okay, so away from the books here and things that can easily catch on fire. This is our safety, as you remember. We're going to move it to this direction and let's ignite it. See? So here you go. It is ignited. One more time. Hmm. What's up? Okay, what's up? It's because I'm all the way down here. So move it here and then do it again. And here it is, right? So now, see? I'm going to change that and that's the highest and that's lowest and see as you go it's just gonna go away completely as you uh, once you get all the way to the left side but they say to keep it that way upward right it's gonna work this way too probably uh, just go in the middle yeah and it does okay so there you have it that's how it works also, with 10 seconds worth of butane, Starship Torch weighs 536 grams. Let's go ahead and measure the length of that flame. So it scratches 6 inches. Just about. The shortest flame is uh, 0 inches. Ah, my sweater, or no? Ha, 
Just kidding. But be careful. Ah, my eyes. But be careful. Just kidding this time. Or am I? So what a great product this Starship Torch is. Everything functions well, feels well, it's pretty solid all around. These buttons here, they function well and don't point that towards the books. These sliders here to adjust the flame, they also function well. Just all around great and solid. And this opens up also solid, so when you're ready to refuel it. Just an awesome, awesome piece. And then if you wanted to have something more unique, to start up your grill on your barbecue this could be perfect just come out there and everybody is going to be asking what is this and then you can tell them about the starship program and how great of a program this is and how huge the starship rocket with the super heavy booster actually is we've covered that earlier in this video now this cup this mug is also a great awesome little gadget because i just love looking at the mars terraforming into a livable like earth planet for our humans super awesome gadgets so now you had a little idea of what they are if you were wondering now you know so thanks for watching and if you got one of these enjoy it i know i've that, that they're do